This is what I hate about Windows 11. Soon everyone will have to switch to a new operating system from Microsoft. But there is one big problem. It is poorly optimized for laptops that officially support Windows 11. Stay tuned. So let's get into it. First of all, I want to mention that this is a Dell 5491 laptop and at the moment I installed Windows 10 Pro. And that's because with Windows 11 it has some problem. Simply to understand, this laptop was released in 2019 and Windows 11 was released in 2021. And you know what? It makes sense because if we go to the official website manufacturer website for which we can install drivers this is my model for example let's check how many driver are for this model in Windows 10 and Windows 11 so if we select Windows 10 64-bit you may see that we have 36 driver for this laptop but if we click here and there is an option to select Windows 11, take a close look because here we have only 32 drivers. And believe it or not, it is a common issue if you want to upgrade to a newer a newer operating system. For example, many laptops that was released in era of Windows 7 work not properly, not all laptops, on Windows 10 because simply you will not find all necessary drivers for Windows 10. In my opinion, I don't think that Microsoft will do a better job if we're talking about optimization of drivers for a specific operating system, in our case for Windows 11. And that's because many laptops behave incorrectly. For example, Dell 5491 work not properly on Windows 11. When I'm saying not properly, I mean it can freeze, it can lock, some application can work slow, and there is also many other reasons not to install Windows 11. Yet, and that's quite funny because on my channel I made a lot of videos on how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC, but laptops that officially supports Windows 11 behave incorrectly. So, let's Let's look at another model. I also had this laptop, Lenovo ThinkPad P1, first generation. This laptop also have Intel Core processor of 8th generation, i5, i7 or even i9. I want to mention that this laptop was also released in era of Windows 10. So if we clicked on the operating systems, here we can find Microsoft Windows and Windows 10. For some reason we can see Windows 11 32-bit. If someone know that Windows 11 32-bit officially exists, please let me know in the comment below. So let's select Windows 10 and again take a close look. Here we have 56 important files. It can be drivers, updates, utility, etc. Critical 22 and recommended 34. But if we uncheck this box, and click on Windows 11. Voila, as I said, 37 drivers, critical 13 and recommended 24. Simply to understand, our system missing important drivers. Believe it or not, but this is true. And that's why this laptop may also behave incorrectly. Of course, Windows 10 will be only supported until 2025. Let's see, will Microsoft optimize Windows 11 and will drivers appear on manufacturer websites? My conclusions. It's always hard to upgrade to new version of Windows, especially if the new version is worse than the previous one. Let's get it clear. I'm not against upgrading to Windows 11 in the future, but I want to be sure that my laptop will work stably. Perhaps it will be better to buy a device that was released in the era of Windows 11. Who knows? If this video was helpful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video about Windows 8.1 problems.